Hey, what's up, Drum Technic Academy? I'm David, and I'm super happy to be doing this drum lesson for you today. Uh, the topic will be about the push-pull or open-close hand technique. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and uh, most of all, thanks to Martin for building this great community and this platform. I really think it's something unique and special, and uh, yeah, let's get started. During this drum lesson, I want to cover uh, the most important movements when it comes to push-pull or open-close hand technique and I want to give you an insight of how I learned this technique and I also want to show you how some of the, the learning steps may look when you are learning this technique because uh, my right hand uh, still needs a lot of work and compared to my left hand you can really see the differences in motion and also hear the differences and uh, yeah so I hope that this will be helpful for you I also will come up with some uh, exercises and um, some more or less important tips and tricks how you can make your life a lot easier not only during learning this technique but also once you you got it down when it comes to maintain the stamina and and the, the ability to to uh, use it whenever needed and uh, yeah I started to learn the push-pull technique, I would say, four or five years ago. And that was during a time when I didn't have that much time to practice anymore. Um, and I really had a hard time getting back in shape without hurting myself. Um, I guess that's an, an issue a lot of you have experienced. Um, and uh, I, I was looking for a hand technique that would allow me to not practice that much anymore but still be able to play super fast stuff and that was also the time that i really uh, was blown away by drummers like kevin Paradis, who were able to play extremely fast and super tight and it always looked effortless to me uh, and that's when I decided, okay, I also need to learn the push-pull technique because otherwise I, I would have to, to search for a new genre of music to play in because uh, I, I just, just wasn't able to play extreme metal anymore um, without investing a lot of time and without risking to, uh, to hurt my, my wrist especially. Try to find the pivot point on your stick, which will, would be somewhere around here maybe yeah and uh, I ho hold the stick uh, a bit behind that I would say like two inches maybe that's the the spot where the the stick feels like an extended arm for me let's say and uh, I worked on the push motion by just open my fingers and let the stick bounce all the way back to the end of my thumb right here like this I always try to over exaggerate the motion to uh, kind of get used to it. Uh, you know, if you're learning something new, uh, I always figured that uh, it would take some time anyway. And uh, I always want to make the best out of it and don't learn anything wrong. So I took the push pull motion and uh, kind of uh, cut it into parts and focus step by step on each aspect of the motion. So the first one was the push. So the second one is obviously the pull. And the pull is really just closing your fingers again. So the push and then the pull. And uh, I also isolated the pull. I just did this one. So closing my hand and raising my arm a bit. So a little summary, uh, I started 
with finding the right position of the practice pad, the right surface of the practice pad. I spent some time trying different sticks and finally choose uh, very heavy and long sticks to have a lot of weight do the work for me. And then I worked on the right motion. And you can also practice that without a stick, which would be just the uh, pull motion and the push motion without a stick. So the natural mov movement of your hand, if you just apply tension to your fingers and uh, release, release the tension. Try to use the same motion with uh, the stick in your hand and work your way from doubles to even singles. So when I learned the push-pull technique, I learned it one hand at a time. So I started with my left hand because that was always my weaker hand and that was always the one that really got sore. And uh, the worst uh, time was when I wasn't able to play drums for like one or two months because my wrist was hurting that bad. Um, so when I finally was able to uh, execute a proper push-pull uh, motion with my left hand, I also wanted to learn it with my right hand of course and since i'm a bit lazy lately and i had to work on some other things as well uh, my right hand kind of is still in the practice mode and uh, what i want to show you right now is that you will probably also get some accent and strokes when you uh, learn the push pull technique so my left hand uh, is now the stronger one with the push-pull technique and I can get really even strokes uh, done very easily. I will show you. So my right hand sounds like this. Do you want to know how you can watch this full lesson? Just sign up at www.drumtechniqueacademy.net Drumming as you know is a lot like gravity. All it takes is a little push.